G'day guys, this is G8XO. Today I'm going to be showing you how to um, hot swap soft mod your Xbox. This is pretty much the only way you can soft mod your Xbox nowadays because you can't buy, um, well, you can't find memory cards from most places and all the um, games like Splinter Cells and uh, Match Assaults, they're all bought or well, they're not traded in in any way like that, so you can't really find them. So, this is the easiest way to do it nowadays, and it's probably, well, I know it's not the safest, but I've never had problems with it. I've, up, I've modded tons of Xboxes with it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to boot up your Xbox. Now, for the purpose of this, my Xbox is already modded, but I'm going to use my stock hard drive, which I've reverted back to completely stock. So, it boots up to the Microsoft dashboard. You want to boot it? Yes, I'm, I'm, and I'm using my shitty Microsoft cam again. Okay, and you want to go down to settings, and you want to go all the way down to system info, and you want to copy down. You gotta wait for this shit to pass. You want to copy down the dash um, version and the kernel version. So I'll show you what it is on this one in a sec. <sighs> yeah, yeah, you guys can read this if you want. I don't really care. Okay, there. 5838 and 5960. So you're going to write that down somewhere. Hang on, I'll try it down. 5838 and 5860, I believe it was. Soon find out. Anyway, it's important that you copy that down. So after you've done that, you can turn off your Xbox and we'll go to the computer. Okay, guys, now that we're at, um, on the computer, we need to download. Or well, you need to have some file um, ISO burning software like Nero or um, Xbox, I mean not Xbox, sorry, CD Burner XP I use basically and you need to download these two files which I put in the links, one's Endure 3.0 and the other one's Xbox HDM or Xbox Hard Drive Maker and I use that to make hard Xbox hard drives and after that you've got, you want to extract Xbox HDM and you want to run the Endure installer or whatever it's called, the application. Click next. Now you want to tick on this thing here. You want basic files, retail files. You want an add shadow C. Um, you want kernel specific fonts, which you have to select your kernel version, which I believe the kernel version was 5838. Yep. And um, you can select that if you've got Xbox Live, but nobody nobody has Xbox Live anymore because it's not existent. You want to add UADDE. Um, you want to select the kernel specific STDBs or whatever they are, and that's 5838 again. And add an end your toolset, and you want to create an Xbox HDM installer. Hit next. Now you want to browse this. This will be where have I put everything? Um, this will go to your um, Xbox HDM directory, Linux, and I think that's where it goes. When is it supposed to go? Hang on, I just got to pause this. I've forgotten something. Yes, it's supposed to go in your Linux directory. So for um, Xbox HDM, so. Your Xbox, open your Xbox HDM and Linux click Linux, hit OK and then hit install and it will now install it to that directory I'll just pause this while I wait for it to finish ok so now it's finished, so you want to hit next and hit finish now you want to open up your Windows 7, you want to open up your Xbox HDM directory and you want to click make ISO win dot bat hit run now wait for it to create it. Now this will take a while, so I'm going to pause it again. Okay, so it was now completed. The um, batch file has closed itself. So now we have this little ISO in here, Linux.ISO. You want to burn that to a disk. Burn that to a CD it'll fit on. And then you want to bring your Xbox, take your Xbox, to the closest computer that has an IDE interface, so um, a parallel ATA interface you want, and prefer also, well, 
yeah, you don't need a hard, um, don't need a um, a floppy drive, but you can get one. So you want to burn that to a disk, and then we'll go over to the computers. Um, where's the stop? Okay, guys. So what we've got here is we've got our Xbox plugged into power and the AV cable plugged in because you need it because it, otherwise it won't boot into the dashboard. Um, you want the ID cable unplugged from the computer. You want the master cable. You want to put the HDD prongs on the hard drive to master. And you want the CD in the computer ready to boot. So first things first, you want to turn the hard um, Xbox on. Hopefully this will work this time. It's about take 17 or something like that. Because I keep stuffing it up. You want to wait for the hard drive to start ticking, and when it finishes ticking, you'll know it's unlocked. So it's starting to tick now. And it looks like it's unlocked, so just wait a minute or so. Anyway, and turn the computer on. And boot into the disk. But don't, just at the boot menu, don't hit anything. Just hit an up arrow or something like that to cancel out the boot timer. But I would actually manually boot this computer because it's an old piece of junk. Well, it's not old, it's just... I haven't bothered to set it up right. Okay, so now you want to unplug the IDE cable. You gotta be rather quick about this and plug in it, it into the computer. Hit one on your keyboard to boot into VGA mode and enter. And I'll bring you up here without stuffing anything up. And I'll just grab my keyboard so I can read everything. So it's finished um, booting up into Linux. This is Linux, and um, this is it's successfully booted. If it doesn't, if it detects an error with your hard drive unlocked, like if it's not unlocked, it'll come up with errors and all that. Just try again. So now you want to type xboxhd and hit enter. Yes, because you know it's on the master. Now you can either use one um, selection one or selection two. Both of them will work. But for this case, I'm going to use selection one. It might not be the best one to do, but I don't have plans of putting this um, hard drive. Well, I can, it's easy to put it back anyway, so. It's um, search for the Xbox Petition table and hit type yes in, hit enter, and it will format all the petitions. And yep, it's formatting. Um, e drive, yep, no, you type yes on that now as well. Now it's building the C drive again, rebuilding the C drive, which is the dashboard, or the Xbox dashboard. This will take a couple of minutes, so I'll come back when it's done. Now it's asking if you want to build um, ePetition, or you want to copy the ePetition, e so you type yes again. And this shouldn't take that much longer, I think. Well, I'll edit it out if it takes a long time. And it's all done. Uh, you can install an F petition if you want to get an extra two gigabytes out of the drive. So yeah, we can install an F petition. And yeah, well, and it's done. Hopefully. And shut off everything. And we'll go back to the Xbox. Okay guys, so I've got the Xbox now back set up again with the new hard drive. Or with the modded hard drive now. So you just turn it on. Load boot. And it will. boot up into Unleash X, so welcome to Unleash X everyone. Now, um, we can have a look at everything around. Um, the MS dashboard should still work. Actually, no it doesn't, because I rebuilt the hard drive, so that's the only downside to this, but basically, um, 
yeah this is your hard drive so this is your soft mod so now it should do everything that a soft mod should do so you go to E and you got your apps and it shouldn't be anything in there NTDST is basically all your mod files that copy it over you can delete that if you want it doesn't really do anything UData and TData have your save files in them C drive is where your Xbox dash should be but there's nothing in there because I rebuilt the hard drive you don't need the Microsoft dashboard so like I renamed that to Xbox Media Center for my hard drive sorry about the camera um, you can format the F drive in here the, the password by default is Xbox I think Oh, shit. It's hard doing things with one hand. And you can also uh pass it incorrect, okay, whatever. You can also um FTP into your Xbox. I'll show you how to do that some other time. Okay, so um thanks for watching guys. Um yeah, I hope this helped a lot in the modern day Xbox soft modding um area. And so laters.